Uh, let me just finish with uh, William J. Burns. That's basically like this. William J. Burns doesn't have any sister and he doesn't have any brother. Uh, it's very, very important to note that today, just like this, William J. Burns is your type, like this. How the fuck is this? Uh, I was doing my best and I have even video recorded it. I could not get this scroll down on my page anymore. <laughs> but somehow I did video recorded it. A little, not a little earlier, but yesterday I was doing video recording of William J. Burns and I did exactly manage to video record this stuff. I was sure I'm not going to even see it anymore. <laughs> oh, this is rather funny. This stuff is really funny. Uh, it was involved in a brainwashing, so since it did scroll down, I am going to take a minute and video record this comeback. Now I have a much better, much clearer picture, just like this. And I'm going to use this picture from now on. Look how much it's it's such a better resolution this picture is so much it's beautiful uh, one thing that's going to stay with me for the memory is going to be this picture this is the most memorable picture for me is this one here folks this is the picture for me tells truly it's the picture that you can tell much more than i don't know how many words a reminder of what went on with this comeback is truly truly priceless I was fortunate enough to get this can I get even more than that let me try that oh this is beautiful this is really beautiful we're gonna take this one He totally understands, he totally knows what this means. He understands very, very good about what exactly this means, to what exactly this stuff pertains to. He, I have seen all kinds of stuff, but a scumbag like this, not yet. All kinds of stuff was involved in it, but... We're gonna do this, and that's a beautiful, beautiful picture when compared to that one. Now we have a finally a beautiful, beautiful picture. Folks, this is just to let you know about one thing. When it comes to William J. Burns, I did make a mistake in this video here where I posted. gonna scroll down and we're gonna do this here is this here Ronald Reagan I'm gonna give you a Ronald Reagan you're gonna get all the Reagan all the reggae you ever dreamed of William J Burns didn't have he doesn't have any brothers and sisters he's the only one that's one child in the family uh, a totally different story the people that I described in this video here. So I thought I would end. These people, these people are his friends. This is exactly the family that assisted William J. Burns into the top of the U.S. government using this case. These are the people to whom they would deliver me to um, this is like perfect here uh, where I did yeah this is this really is the home that his father had found for one in 1988 he completed the transaction for the house 
I'm going to seal this in a style so that it's going to be, you know, ass kicker the way it's supposed to be. Uh, he's a liar. He just didn't want me to. He didn't want me to discover that the house that you see right there, that's like his house. I don't know. Oh, that's like perfect. See this here? That would be like perfect house from William J. Burns right there. The neighborhood just about looks like this. That's the house he got himself in 1988. That's not his house, but his house look... Uh, it's more like a square. Like a box, basically. It's more boxed house. I got a feeling, but somewhat something like that, okay? A neighborhood, just something like, something like this. If I was to describe the house he purchased, the house his father bragged about, he found him, it would be something like this. Uh, the house, however, which I did describe here in this video, stating that this was his family house and that... Uh, it was this uh, house that that he had two brothers and a sister. No, 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 no. That was uh, another family. These are other people that they told me even that they found him that he's going to help me out. Uh, the two boys were more or less his age and they were good friends with his family, maybe even a family. Now you're talking about the two boys that were blonde, both of them were blonde. And you're talking about also a sister they had, a uh, mom that was blonde and father was not so blonde. Okay, so that's, those are not two, his brothers and sister. That's another family I have spoken about. I made a mistake. Let me demonstrate you. I mentioned you the house like this. No, 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 no. Uh, the house, the original home from William J. Burns was much, much more modest. Uh, then maybe you were talking about uh, green like this, something green like that. Let me see that because it was, yeah, this here would be uh, more like house from William Burns. Um, you're talking about a smaller house, residential area. Uh, and behind this residential area, there would be a grass. We're talking about smaller houses. I would even say like uh, half of this house neighborhood. Uh, so this would be more or less like a house like he's from. Okay. But the family that I described is another family that, that had like a bigger house like this with a big yard and so on. Uh, the house from his father doesn't have a, such a big yard or anything like this. The, the, the family that I described, they had like a big yard, big place, a double of this house like that, like big fucking square house, like something like that, big property like this. No, 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 no. I did describe everything I needed to say here. And I deem that he is the only one and only one and only child in the family. That said, it's needless to go, I described who he is, where he's from. His father was, um, he hallucinated about something that he worked in the military for several years. That was his father claimed. Uh, and it rather appeared to me as if he was some kind of, um, that something had to do with the maintenance or something like that. Uh, excuse me, uh, I even uh, made a mistake about that stuff. His father that was involved in it was a good friend of Bill Clinton. That was a friendship again with a Bill Clinton. And um, I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I do not know what the fuck his father was doing. His father... I would have to think about and uh, it's not going to come to me. Maybe something with engineering. Even it's coming on my mind, something like about bookkeeping. But really, I think closer to engineering something. 
It could have something to do with maintenance or something like that. I don't know. Okay. That's all there is to it. Uh, his house, half of that one, just like I described, that was his home. And with a lot of grass behind, it's like, seemed to me like it was like a golf course maybe or something. I don't know. There was a lot of grass green in the back of this house. Big fucking garden, green, a lot of green. Uh, but the neighborhood where he is from, this is like a house, just like the, the one you see right there. House next to house, house next to house. Um, and the houses, yeah, they are this color. Also black, some black house was there, something like that. Just a street with house next to house, basically. And in the back of the street, uh, in the back of these houses, basically a plain, a lot of grass. Okay, so that will do for me when it comes to William J. Burns. The last thing I want to do is, I see here that, um, we're going to zoom this out. And uh, let me see what... Uh, uh, okay, we're going to do it like this. Children. It says here that he's got two children. He's got Elizabeth Burns and Sarah Burns. I suggested for one. <laughs> he insisted. Something brought the subject. Wife project. Court, wife subject. Uh, courted me with his daughter even which was underage and it was all kinds of stuff like this um, all the presidents all the prime ministers British royals everybody did the pedophilia shit everybody was playing with these issues from the pedophilia all the way up to a grown up woman wives and so on this is just a normal a normal stuff uh, he was nothing different in that sense not too much insane, but still very insane. Uh, so, yeah, man, when you talk to somebody that you don't know what the fuck to do with him, and you're referring to one as a psychiatrist, you're no fucking psychiatrist. Um, you're just an animal, basically, that is willing to perform anything. And you did perform anything. And use whatever it takes, basically, to satisfy the appetites of your central intelligence agency that I don't even say United States of America as in a form that you guys at the sea have interpreted yourself. How Federal Bureau investigations is, are restricted to the line of work they do and the same went on for the police departments and I'm not even defending them because they did a lot, they broke a lot of crime for you uh, and how you have your tentacles everywhere including the FBI and including the CIA and so on, of course you do it's called United States of America Of course, I'm not saying not. I'm not saying not. This is just a notice for you to understand what it feels like when I no longer see myself in you. This is the way it's going to be from now on. No, I don't see myself in you anymore. This is uh, against, uh, against my sanity. Okay? You did too much stuff. Too much. You helped me too much. It's good enough for me to understand what side to take. I don't think that yesterday when I was browsing this stuff that I have seen that he's got even two daughters. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Definitely I'm not wrong about this stuff here. You see it? Because it's still here. I tried to browse him earlier 
and I just could not get a hold of the image I was capable to pull out down from uh, you know when you type it it pops up the image with his hands up and so on I wasn't capable of doing that in any browser and I already video recorded the stuff I'm talking to you about on another video I have several videos here I created it all this here where it says William J Burns and so on um, and so but I decided I'm going to do another one and so once I managed to pull the image that you have seen earlier already from this menu here from this one here from this menu that I recorded yesterday see because that was the only way to pull his image again you know even even uh, what is this here let me see that yeah once I did that stuff uh, this image appears it grew back but what I want to do is I want to see something else yeah I eventually would like to see if they even mentioned that he's got two daughters I'm not sure they mentioned this yesterday did they mention this yesterday let's see it that's the only the last thing I want to mention here and I'm out so maybe they they stated this but maybe they didn't okay they did Elizabeth and Sarah all right so they did I got that part wrong and I'm fine with it because now I set the record straight the thing is with this comeback it was impossible for me to know who the fuck this guy is when he purchased the house in 1998 uh boy uh was it in 1998 am i stupid in 1988 boy am i stupid in 1988 is when he, when the father claimed that he purchased the house once he purchased the house i was out of the door he had me there maybe twice or something like that. He didn't want to have me around the house anymore. I did explain the circumstances behind, behind this shit. About what went on with him. He was violent. And they wouldn't even bring me around much. Maybe two years before they would even bring me around any, again. And because it was all because he couldn't get ahead again. So whenever he needed. They delivered me to him. But this dunk from Central Intelligence Agency, he did kept me inside of his house on quite a few occasions, I remember. Indeed. What he would do is he would gesture me that I'm lazy, that I don't even go out for a walk, that I'm not, you know, he treated me like mentally retarded and use the opportunity instead to browse the neighborhood with a police on foot from Slovenia with this henchman from Slovenia the, the relationship I don't even have to describe how it was you know uh, the relationship best to describe how it was between the me and between the Slovenian investigators maybe all right why don't I do this we're gonna, I will take you, I will explain to you exactly how that stuff went. But that stuff was between Borut Pahor and myself and Milan Kuchan was such that whenever I was delivered to a China or North Korea or to the Russia or to Iran or to the Belarus uh, and it was so much violence that went on uh, and everybody demanded from me a reaction, a response and so on and and so much violence response really <laughs> uh, it was such a whenever they were doing so much such a violent response the only way, the only argument was fist the thing is they kill you the thing is that that's the kind of argument that during MK Ultra easily can kill you this involved people that pretended themselves like they knew nothing about me and they were extremely violent and if you did something if, you, if I would do something they were out there to hurt there were drug dealers inside there was gangsters inside 
they were eavesdropping off on criminals. They would throw me anywhere. Anything went. Anything was okay. When they asked them, inquired them about what exactly would be if they would kill me, the answer pretty much was, well, in that case, the money no longer would go in your region because these people no longer would pay you visits. That's how they kept me alive. The Slovenian side, however, had a special way. Upon delivery to whatever location, these delegations would travel. Uh, they would just, if I would, defend myself. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It didn't pay off. They would just explain uh, to the police investigators that enforced the violence on behalf of the hosting country uh, expected from me to literally submit myself to violence. This was the way that this is the way they enforce this stuff. They simply explained to them in front of me because they would immediately call, you know, uh, and I don't think it was really necessary to call many times because these people were just on the side enjoying themselves watching violence. Milan Kuchin, Borut Pahar, come on. Uh, Tanya Fayon and Skolc and Golobich and Robert Golob, they love the violence, nothing more than that. They enjoyed it. They really enjoyed themselves. I don't know what exactly they have seen and that kind of stuff, but they, they were addicted to it with their hosting countries. And so when they would start their show, the only thing they would do is it would be Borat Pahor who repeated this stuff and was always, let him, let him do let him do whatever he wants. Let him do whatever he wants. Let him do it. Let him do it. I told him already. Just let him be. Let him be. I told him already. It's, it's his thing. It's his problem. I told him already. It's his problem. If they're going to kill him, they're going to kill him. Whatever it's going to be. Whatever they're going to do to him, it doesn't matter. It's his problem. That's all there is to it. Whatever that was, and nowhere is better than in Russia, where Medvedev was guaranteeing me personally, Dmitry Medvedev, that I will not go home alive if I'm not going to basically bow down to the death threats, to the terror, and literally suck it up, swallow the beatings, comply with the torture procedure. Hmm? somebody beating you up you have to accept it as the way of life you have to go and you have to submit yourself you have to accept as a way of life a way of life is basically when you sit all day fucking day on the fucking chair whether that be hot sun or dark room or wherever the fuck it is you drugged up and you're talking basically to yourself so the time goes by It didn't happen one time, it happened many times with the Slovenian here. Doctor psychiatrist Bosniak, for instance, where he was doing his housing project, that he would have me and basically would allow me to for my brain to function only during the terror visits, whenever he would have a visitors that engaged in violence. That's how it operates. So it was the wherever I was delivered. It was just, yeah, let him be, let him do whatever he wants to do. That's his thing. That's his problem. I told him, if they're going to kill him, they're going to hurt him, whatever they're going to do, that's his problem. Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be his problem. We told him this already. It's his problem. It's his problem. It was the message to me in my face from Milan Kochan, from Borut Pahor, in front of, the, in front of me to the police investigators was, it's his problem. It's his problem. Let him be. Let him do whatever he wants. And whatever they do with him, that's up to him. That's his thing. 
that's it this was a policy this is what basically I um, <clears throat> I finally got the knowledge now by William J Burns whom I believe I have described very well identify him uh, in what can I say I don't think there's anything else I need to say uh, I because of the people that watch this program I don't want to go on with some stuff I already have mentioned uh, so I'm gonna use this just to post here on top of this video here which I posted about this shit that looks like a human being Uh, yeah, these are my last when it comes to Burns. He was not blonde. He was of a darker hair. He was nothing blonde. He was of a darker hair when compared to those guys. And those guys most likely either are his family. You're talking about a mother that was blonde. Two sons, blonde. A daughter, blonde. Uh, and... Uh, a father not so blonde but you're talking about the family uh, that was in a good relations close friends of uh, family from William J Burns there you go the father from William J Burns is not such a tall guy um, it's medium built yeah uh, maybe interesting about the William J. Burns, I'm thinking about that his uh, ha uh, house from his parents, uh, that also is located like at the, at the end of the street also, yeah, maybe that's also interesting that I would mention, that's toward the end of the street, so I would have to find some street and, and give you an example about that stuff, but that's not necessary because I did a good description. Uh, I, I describe them pretty well. It's a residential neighborhood and their house is located like uh, at the end of the residential neighborhood. Uh, behind the house is a lot of grass. Uh, as you go to the grass, you see also other houses and this is not such a big house or anything like this. Just as I described, that's all there is to it. Oh, uh, he was using other houses, other people in it. Uh, kind of a confusing, but it was Bill Clinton also who claimed me that it's a very specific house, the way it's located in the neighborhood, that you you have to explain about that stuff, la 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 la. There's some trees behind there too. That's all there is to it. I don't have to do a fucking thing. I don't even want from you anything. You don't fucking understand what the fuck you did with your visit to Slovenia. Actually, you do, you fucking American swine. You do understand. This is the thing. You do understand. You do understand because your job, your entire life, you know what your job was? Your job was exactly as I described in these videos. You are a backstabber. You are a treacherous American swine that literally lives of murdering people is beliefs this isn't about this isn't about the hope this isn't about killing hope in people but you literally live of treachery of treason betrayal that's where the fuck you live from that's what you get your salary from you your Ronald Reagan hired you literally and tutored you. He demonstrated you how this stuff is done. How to betray people. How to treason people. And then profit from within. How to make new pacts with people unlikely. Through 
treason, through treachery. He was the one who tutored you, basically. He, he told you what the Constitution is, what the Bill of Rights is. I never swore on the Constitution. I never swore on the Bill of Rights. But I saw myself in the United States of America because of American people. It really didn't matter to me whether the people were white or they were black. What mattered to me is what mattered to me, mattered, not what matters to me, but mattered to me, was that people were fair, normal people, acceptable people. That's what mattered to me. What mattered to you is something else. What mattered to you was to, I'm not going to say trade constitution for lynching, or I should say cash for lynching, trade constitution for uh, cash lynching. No, that's not what mattered to you. What mattered to you was to get by some way, somehow, purchase silence and further finance psychiatry against somebody that is from another country rather than from your country for the whole world to see itself in it because you just wanted to have a big case you wanted to have a lot of attention a lot of attention which is something that is characteristic for the terrorism for the terrorists but that's just your nature of work that's how you do and I'm not blaming you for that stuff I'm just blaming you for awarding literally black mercenaries for a terrorism for the acts of terrorism don't worry blacks he is a nigger just like those of you who have done it that's why i called ronald reagan a nigger it was not meant that it would be a racial or some other issue that will be behind the word but it was because of the violence that it for which it became finally evident it was also richard nixon and ronald reagan that were behind it they financed it it's not a racial slur the stuff I use. This is not racially charged slur. It would be racially charged if I would see you different from your white masters. Which in this case I refuse to see you in any different ways. Because you all worked together. And the people that do violence, people that do violence and it doesn't matter whether they finance one or they engage in one in the United States of America everybody will confirm are niggers literally that's how I see niggers those are niggers those are real niggers William J Burns was one of those niggers that dealt cash for violence. It was the way of the politic. And in his little head, the idea was even born. That over the course of the time, because the black community started to see itself in literally causing me more and more harm. They were not happy about collecting money only. They wanted more than that. They wanted to cause more harm. And in other words, they wanted to buy more of the Constitution. They wanted to purchase more of the Bill of Rights. They were buying more. They were, they were, they were increasing themselves. You're getting bigger with their demands. They also wanted to see me dead. In fact, they didn't want to see me in the United States of America anymore. For them to see themselves in the United States of America, 
You see, it no longer was about the protests, which I explained in the videos before, but it was about throwing me out of United States of America so their royal black majesties could see themselves in United States of America, which I must say to you, better sooner than later. Not a good stuff you did to me. It's awkward and you're going to be held responsible, hell held responsible for it. But better sooner than later. No, I don't have anything else to say other than what I stated you in the video. I'm gonna civil court you and then I'm gonna court martial you through the military court and then I'm gonna make you piss blood and spit blood on four. Oh William William dreamed about my causing harm also to other countries in fact American allies that it was not only about the black people to whom I caused harm he did not refer to me as my causing harm to black people he was very careful with it he wanted for me to see black people as a terrorists he wanted to see he was giving me a hope even that there will be retaliation against black people for the stuff that was done to me. But in this video, I acknowledge that the black people, the black people was only what I explained. It was a criminal networks that affiliate themselves with this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, too many good people did climb into this stuff. Central Intelligence Agency gave them a chance to offer them even the opportunity to bail themselves out through recognizing my case, uh, helping me with the case, and I don't know what. Well, they're never gonna make any difference in my case um, one way or the other um, it's sick when I consider that somebody like this would want to make a difference in it uh, and Central Intelligence Agency definitely knew where this is gonna take to blacks knew it too uh, they became addicted to the psychiatry to the Slovenian psychiatric violence uh, both of these sides became addicted to the psychiatric violence they were just buying more and more violence one for another they were they were working one for the other uh, both sides were just born for one another you know the white one and the black one uh, they were just truly made for one another there was really nothing left for me to do in United States of America just as they pre-planned you know just as William Burns pre-planned you know you're gonna get the citizenship and you're gonna this and you're gonna that you know and we're gonna destroy you and you're gonna leave the country and you're gonna have nothing and this and that and this is basically this is what this is i mean you know they awarded them they paid them for this stuff and it started with the ronald reagan who steered the shit in new york at united nations with united nations he incited me against certain countries african countries to cause first it was with the soviet union uh with the russians with the moscow this was the first thing, was with the Russians. And then 
The Russians literally stepped aside for the Ronald Reagan to complete the job and incited against different varieties of countries, which included even India and so on, uh, African countries. He wanted me to have a conflict war basically with the entire world. For him, the way he acted in front of me was like, with the next, was like, wow, did you see that one? How that one went crazy and stuff like that. They were driving me in a car past United Nations with a delegates could see me and they did go ballistic they did go they totally drove them insane but it's important for me to accent that it soon turned into that it's impossible to save me because i am such a person and this and that and so on so they accepted no responsibility they began to invite this black civil rights matters uh organizations terrorist groups literally into the White House where they negotiated with them. Uh, that's where you have the Kamala Harris and much before her uh, Barack Obama visiting White House. Uh, this is what went on with this dude with the Ronald Reagan. Uh, there were people that insisted that I was the one who screwed up America. Really? Now, if you want to know who screw up America, then you have to look to your beautiful, Aryan-looking President Ronald Reagan. And then you're going to understand who screwed up America. Every one of these bot botanos, uh, b beauties, yeah, botanos, uh, every one of your American president, presidents left shit behind him. And that pile of shit was just growing, was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. None of them wanted to deal with cleaning the mess, basically doing what you're supposed to do, according to Constitution. The Constitution is just a paper right there that sits, and uh, whatever is taking place, and is just there to be violated really is what that paper serves um it's called reality that's a reality one thing is a reality and another one is a piece of paper that sits right there and it's what it's supposed to be but is not every one of your fucking presidents made situation in america worse and worse and worse because that's the, the the easiest way nobody wants to take responsibility even william j burns did absolutely everything possible to look legitimate in eyes of um, a black public in eyes of black people he did absolutely everything he possibly could to purchase literally to purchase a social peace so there would not be revolts so there would not be this and that and so on and on the other hand counted on me on donald trump and stuff like this is what he talked about is no sir me not interested in any donald trump's me not interested in any in any reagan's uh this is your country this truly is your country and truly is you truly are built for one another. Like I told Ronald Reagan, I told him after I told Richard Nixon, I called Richard Nixon a Negro, a nigger, I told him. I told Ronald Reagan, I told him, you are a nigger too. I told him, you are one fucking nigger, just like your buddy Richard Nixon is. And the two were laughing about it because they were sure that I was mentally you. You know, basically the stuff they were doing was just a fine thing to do. It was just a normal thing to do, you know. That's the way it goes. That's that's the way you do it. All right, you have it. You, fuck you. You you and them, You are the, the both of you were made for one another, but you will be held responsible for it. You will be held responsible for this stuff. As far as the foreign relations and myself... <laughs> um, yeah sure I mean if you want the credit for that you go ahead and you tell them you succeeded at whatever
good luck to you anyways yeah you're really a success story burns <laughs> Apparently, black community in the United States of America, black minority in America, didn't see itself in a central intelligence agency at all. Apparently, this is the way it was. Uh, probably true, based on the history of American separatism, of American uh, foundation, uh, for which slavery served um, probably probably they had not seen themselves in it uh, and so this is how Central Intelligence Agency uh, and even the black community they hired you know, every time they would give a job to some black person uh, I would be called in and uh, they would want the feedback from me for whatever I think I was clear about what went on uh, and so causing harm to me I understand is what greatly greatly helped black community this was the message from MK Ultra to see itself in a central intelligence agency in fact uh, uh, as if the, if they are finally part of the country all right this is exactly the way it was and that's exactly what the charges are going to be laid against that's precisely what the charges are going to be exactly as described in this video <laughs>